Hello everyone, my name is Angel Bogdan and in this video I'll show you how to set up Adobe Photoshop in order to start designing mobile applications and do prototyping. In this video we are going to use um, Adobe Photoshop uh, CC 2018 and Envision, um, sorry, EnvisionApp.com You just have to sign up for free, um, Envision is an online service so it's easy available for Mac and Windows and basically there's no setup you just have to sign up for free and then uh, you'll also need to get craft manager so the craft craft manager is actually um, set of it's a, it's a plugin for Envision which helps you um, sync um, so yeah, when you install Craft Manager, you just have to activate the sync part from it, uh, which is a tool for Envision. So yeah, just press down the plugins from the visionapp.com craft, and that will be available um, into Adobe Photoshop then. So just go to view, uh, and there's extensions, and you got the sync, and you can easily sync to Envision. Okay, so first thing we are going to do um, is go to Adobe Photoshop then, go to File, New, go to Mobile at the top and you got here a few options so you can start designing for iPhone 6, iPhone 6 Plus, iPad Pro and other mobile devices. Um, if you want to design for something specific for Android, you can uh, use the Android 180p. But for this video, I'll show you how to design for iPhone iPhone 6. Okay, so just create. Press create when you select the, um, the preset, okay, and this will um, uh, come up with an artboard. So we'll say artboard one. Okay and in this we are going to i'm going to use an interface uh which i downloaded from um graphic burger because i don't want to spend time uh actually designing so i don't want to spend hours designing an app but i want to show you how to do this so how you get started how to uh, start prototyping with the design you do okay so uh let's say i'm i'll get this no actually i'll get uh the sign in into your account first so this is will be the first artboard uh the first um uh the first screen of our app when you when you join the app when you um open up the app okay so sign into your account it's a bit too small as it is so it's not i don't think it's built for um okay so let's let's try no? i don't know I haven't tested the app, but let's see. I think it should be okay. So, okay, the quality is not that great. Uh, oh my god. Uh, well, it's test video, so we're just going to test it and I'll show you how you do it. Well, it may not be the best design, but it's okay for testing. And for the tutorial, so let me just get this color for the background. Okay, so let me just put some uh, guides so you can just put a guide layout so you can see what you are doing. Columns four, five, column six. See how is this? I just want to center it a bit. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so this is the first artboard, the sign into your account, the first uh, screen that you see when you open up the app. So now I'm going to duplicate the artboard. So uh, duplicate artboard, and what you'll notice is that will um, it will make another screen for the app. So this will be the second. Um, 
let's say the second uh, screen of your mobile application so let's think this way first you're going to open up the app and you're going to input your uh, details so you, your name your email address and your password and then you're going to press sign in okay so let's suppose you um, let's suppose you input the right details so it gives you no errors and you'll want them to display this um, to the user so the the user badge the user account you want to display this in the second screen okay so that we're going to get this let me just try to position it well and resize it as I said this is not the right way to do it to resize this way uh, I haven't tried the design before before making the video so I thought it's, it's okay but I think the this design is, is quite old so 2013 I don't think it's optimized for Retina as iPhone 6 as we're designed for iPhone 6 now so that's why it has uh, low pixel density you see it's it's not great quality but but I said it's still okay to see um, the tutorial okay so this is the user badge right and we are going to make a transition from the sign in button with to the second screen okay so this is um, this we are going to do in the Envision, Envision app. So let's just call this user uh, profile, okay? And this will be called um, sign sync, not sign, but sign sign in, okay? And another thing I want to do, um, let's suppose we Um, so I don't like this button, but anyway, let's suppose we are going to add some button up here Wait, what color should be? Let's first sign in color Okay I want this one I want to make um, a go back button, so something like that. Or sign out or anything actually. Sign. I don't have the font, but as I said, it's okay for testing. I want to make a short video for you, so just understand the basic idea. I don't want to go into details because that can be seen in other videos. If you want more videos about designing, I can do that. But this is strictly about prototyping and how to get started. Okay, so let's see without the lines. Okay, so this is the sign out button, which will redirect you back uh, to the first artboard. All right. So now, when you install the Craft Manager, you'll have to uh, install this plugin called Sync. Okay, so this will be able to sync directly into Envision um, account. So after you design this, you're going to press this button. If you don't have this button right here, you go to Window, Extensions, and press Sync. All right. And then uh, you're going to create new prototype. Let's just say uh, Test Application. Select Account, Personal, Create Prototype. Okay, we are going to import all artboards into the document. You can just let the artboard pixel density to 2x and sync the envision. Save your document first. Okay. I'm just going to save it first. I'm sorry, on desktop. YouTube, app envision, test, test, test app. Okay. Sync the envision. Syncing one of two artboards, two of two artboards. So this the process is pretty quick, and you are going to open, and this will open your project on Envision. And you can choose the project type. So it's more, it was mobile, 
and it was designed not for iPhone X so you know it's different thing on iPhone X uh, but this has been designed for iPhone 6 portrait so continue and you can see our design here I hope it's okay hopefully yeah there it is so but this is yeah it is wrong um, anyway so to get an idea this is you can preview your app and let's say you want to add prototyping to start prototyping it and you got this build mode and you can drag a hotspot into your sign, -in, sign -in button and link to you want to put the prototype screen of user profile so you gesture tap so when you tap on it uh, sign in will link to user profile and you can push right push left right right dissolve uh, I'll try um, slide right let's suppose include hotspot in template now save okay and let's go back to user profile build mode okay and you're going to put another hotspot on the sign in button sign out sorry and this will really to sign in back again tap and push left yeah save and now you can just go to preview mode and I suppose you press sign out will go back to sign in and sign in you go back to user profile so basically this is how you do prototyping you design with artboards in Adobe Photoshop you can use the Envision app which is as, as you can see it's pretty easy just sync into the Envision and here you can start uh, the build mode and here's your you can just see your app your old artboards you can set a loading screen for your app and all that also it's really easy to do comments so other people can join if you provide if you share the link um, you can uh, get other people to comment on your design to make comments so let's suppose you want to leave a comment about this you can just write test comment so let's suppose your friend want to review your app you can just share the link and he can make comments directly on it so it's easy like for the team communication and also you got this um, inspect mode so you can see all the fonts used you can see the weed height so it ma makes it really easy for development for future development and you got history mode also so the versions you got a social share you can share slack dribble behance upload screens you can upload more screens configuration so this is what I personally recommend for getting started into uh, prototyping and mobile applications so so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and if you want more videos like this um, just remember to subscribe to my channel so I'll be in touch with all my videos and also you can let me know in the comments what should be the next video on my channel so I'll see you next time